Well, here I am making a mess in the yard again. As a matter of fact, I am doing something a little bit different. I have recently picked up some late season plants because it's around June 24th. Way late for normal starting gardens. The Bonnie Plant Company is a big supplier of plants in my local area. Straight neck squash, some pepper plants, and some tomatoes, as indicated by all the tags. For plants on the ground beside me here. This bucket is something that I use to take the roots and soak those to try to get the dirt off. I don't want that getting caught in the pump as well as maybe uh, spray the roots a little bit make those a little bit cleaner and then pick out the large chunks. The product that I'm using is from Juice Plus. It is a tower garden flex used for outdoors. The pump that I'm using comes with the unit and as a matter of fact this has two settings indoors and outdoors and the outdoor setting is three minutes on for the pump followed by uh, 12 minutes off. The unit itself is not extremely noisy. I am up close and you can hear a little bit of noise from the pump running as well as water trickling. This is a planting site just to show you a little bit about how much water actually comes down out of the uh, top of that particular garden unit. The neck cups are two inches in size and they do have the rim trimmed away on the back side to make them fit a little bit better but you could use a standard two inch neck cup maybe trim it a little bit to fit in there. The blue foam pieces are actually neoprene cloning collars. This here is experimental and so at the top of the unit I have two bell peppers, one gold, one purple, as well as a jalapeno plant. Midway down the tower I have a sweet 100 cherry tomato plant, a celebrity semi-determinate tomato plant that offers the ability to have sliced tomatoes. I may have to end up putting a cage on these. On the bottom ring of the tower garden uh, there is a set of two straight neck yellow squash and these are the bush center squash. There's two on this side and two on the other side and I place those down lower so that the top of the reservoir lid will help support the weight of the squash. This is not entirely the factory tower garden flex model because it does have the extension kit on the top. It offers me a total of 28 planting sites. I may come back and try to fill in the unplanted sites that you see on the tower. I would like to start those in rock wool to give me a cleaner hydroponic system without the dirt entwined into the roots of the plants that I just put in today. It is important to take the reservoir and to balance that out using a level in two directions because it is a temporary solution what I've done is taken a piece of wood shimming material from a local hardware store to help use as few shims as possible to get the top of the lid level the holes near the outer ring of the lid can be used for the caging system I am probably going to support these plants because they get a little bit larger than your standard smaller dwarf or micro dwarf plants for the company I should only have to completely empty the reservoir refill it after a light cleaning every three to four months but is advised to top off the water on a regular basis so on this first episode i just wanted to introduce you to what i am doing in the backyard i've been looking for a vertical hydroponic solution for a while now because i would like to have a tight footprint and also the use of hydroponics